Hello guys, my name is Garvit and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to add, um, what should I call it, movie files or movies on a object or images on an object. So, for example, if you're modeling a TV or an iPhone or a phone or something else like a laptop, you could use this way to add in a picture or a video on the object so let's get started so what i'm going to do here is scale it on the x-axis or no uh, let's see which side is front okay i'll scale it on the y-axis and i'm going to make it a small kind of tv so i'm actually going to be very good at modeling this stuff uh but yep that's Maybe a little more on the y axis. Okay, now that's done. Uh, now you have to go into edit mode. You can click A to deselect off if you want. And I'm just gonna box select this whole thing. Make sure this face is selected. Now, what you can do is click I. And you can just bevel, or I don't know what this is called. Um, but what you could do is um, uh, do that and make it a little smaller and maybe outwards. No, I don't know. Just maybe that. That should be good. And maybe scale it in a little bit. In the x axis. Okay, that should be good there. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is. Uh, all of them up there. Okay, deselect all, so you get close to them, and select this whole thing again. Okay, now you could go, uh, you should go right over here to the uh, texture menu thing here, and click on this here. Now, after that's done, you could first go and add in a material such as blackish material or make it a little more black and just turn down the intensity okay now after that's done you could well I'll just turn it up a bit there okay after that's done you could go and add in a new one click new again this time I'm going to turn the other intensity, the specular intensity down and I'll just be right back because the phone is ringing. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, where was I? Oh yeah, right here. So we could just keep that white for now and we turn down the intensity and the... It should be good. Now what you want to do is click assign and that's what you get. And that's a good thing. So now, what you could do is, uh, after you have this whole face selected, you could uh, click U, click Unwrap, and you'll see that uh, thing up there, and I think that basically means, we'll click Control Z, and uh, let's see, Control A, I think, you know, Control S, uh, let's see. How do we let's scale the volume maybe you know. uh let me just figure that out and I'll be back right now. Just a second there. Okay, I found out how to do it and this is how you do it. First you go into object mode and click control A and then just apply for the scale. And now it should all be good. Now you can click you here and click on grab and no message shows up shows up there okay now since that's done we can now go into the textures and we selected this one here so we'll just click new and we'll click open and you can open a blender or, or something um, picture or movie i'm going to be using um, I don't know, just anyone. Use this one, and now that's shown up there. 
Now, what I will do is go down and make sure this is a UVs. If it is not, then make it UVs. So now this done and everything there. Okay, and one more thing is if you add in a movie file, you can click match movie length. So now it matches the movie length. And that should all be good. Now to make it show on the object what we okay. I accidentally maybe just something there. Okay. Oops. Uh no I won't. Uh, okay, that's good. Now I'll go into object mode and what I will do now is first drag my lamp, which is soon gonna be a sun. Right there, right there, front right over there. Now, what I will do is make that a sun, and if I go into texture, nope, it didn't show. Okay, it's just right there. It's right there. Right there. It should be okay. Uh, let's go into material, and uh, you'll see it show. One thing that's wrong is that this thing is like, what should I say? This is not my how how my video was. So I think my object is a little small for this. So how we can fix that is go into solid, and what you will do is click on this thing here, then you go to um to texture, and we will just. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so what you want to do is go into uh, edit mode, and I'll just click one and click U, and I'll click uh, project from view bounds, and that should be good now. So if I go into my material, and you see it projects from view bounds there. So all I had to do was click one and unwrap it there. Okay, now you see it showing. So now this could be like a picture or a movie or any other thing that you can think of. And uh, I think it should play. I'm not sure. It doesn't play here. It plays in the rendered view. So in the rendered view, if you look at this, is and that is over from. Blender render to cycles render. If you don't have, if you cannot go into rendered mode in the Blender render, then you can just go to their website and download the latest version of Blender. So, anyways, back to where I was. Now, this is like this right now. If I play along with it like that, uh, you'll see that it moves. So now, uh, uh, Wherever your movie ends, so I don't know where this is ending. Let's just take that back, put it back there. Uh, okay, so I could set this at sixty nine. And now what you could do is go into the camera thing here and click wait, let's try going to the cycles render if it works. No. It I don't know why it doesn't work in cycles render, but it just doesn't. So anyways, uh you could go and just click animation after you have set this file here and made this exit. So anyways, that was the video and Something that I always forget to tell you guys is that um, you can save your work after you're done. Uh, because sometimes Blender crashes and you know all your work is lost and stuff. But if you save it, uh, you can just come back to it. So yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say and this was the video. Thank you for watching and like always have a great day.